Be kind to those less fortunate. Here we go, start of day 23. May the light embrace you. Stage 3. Ooh, in a pet battle. Oh, cool! Safe journey. This isn't the like the regular types of quests and dailies we have to do. Alright. Okay, so just arrived at the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. This is who I have to defeat using my new little pet. We have here's slicing wind, All right? Okay, so he just has slicing wind because he's a level one, as are mine. So I'll be using the slimy hermit crab, the slimy fang tooth, and third will be the shadow barbs. So it doesn't have to be these pets, but just something strong against flying pets. And there goes the worm. So I didn't want to use anything over a level 1 because his second ability is Cyclone and I didn't want to play that since my Shadow Barb is only level 1 and he will most likely die into the AoE damage unless you have something to block it. So I essentially chose pets that are strong against flying, but also have speed advantage or extra power. Speed is he, he's 12. Oh, come on. Ooh, nice job, buddy. Woo! 190. Well done. Okay. Oh. So I'm not actually sure if the Shadow Barb has to be alive at the end of the battle, it just says that you have to have it in your team. But it worked out well. Warm wishes to you. Be well. Warm wishes to you. Be well. Okay, here we go. Another 10 minutes are up. Each day is a blessing. Dionys Haka. Each day is a blessing. Oh, excellent! Another pet battle! Woo! Okay. Be kind to those less fortunate. There we go. The 
Brock Stone Defender has Crush Stone Rush Rock Barrage. I'll be using the Blighted Squirrel, which is a Pal Balance Breed, Scratch Crouch Stampede. Second slot is the Stitched Pup with Disease Bite Howl Consume Corpse. Third is the Leveling Shadow Barb, which is a level 2 at the moment. So, setting up Crouch before I pop out Stampede. going to reset that. So I want to make sure there are two decks going by the time this guy carks it. Okay. Here I'm going to use Disease Bite. One more. One more. Oop. Excellent. There we go. So technically my leveling pet didn't get used in the battle, but it completes the quest, which is pretty much all you want to do. So, the Naru have not forgotten us. Dionys Haka. This path seems to be taking forever, but I'm glad we have something to break up the monotony of fighting using the whistle. Okay, well, this is exciting. Two new quests in two days. The Naru have not forgotten us. Ooh, another pet battle. Oh, this is cool. May this your days be long side. and your hardships few. And it's not too far. It's good. All right. Oh, this is the eyeball. I remember this one. Okay, so Retinus has Chaos Beam, Nightmare, Void Crash. I'll be using the Twilight Clutch Sister with Tail Sweep, Phase Shift, Twilight Meteorite. The Proto Drake Whelp with Breath, Flamethrower, Proto Strike, and third is my Leveling Shadow Barb. So, starting off with Twilight Meteorite. I'm going to block this Void Crash that's about to pop. And then finish off with Tail Sweep until my pet's dead. So, Flamethrower. Breath. And proto strike. Breath. I should do it. 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Turn this in. Warm the, wishes um, to you. XP bar was easier to read. Okay. Be kind to those less fortunate. Oh, getting really close now. Hopefully we get another pet battle. I'd love to finish off this level with all the pet battles vision areas. May the light embrace you. Hmm. Pet battle. Be kind to those less fortunate. Okay, so Akir Sandcrawler has Scratch, Burrow, Locust Swarm. I'll be using Squirky with Punch, Stampede, Bubble, the Flay Youngling with Triple Snap, Deflection, Rampage, and third is the Leveling, Shadow Barb. So, start off with Stampede. You're slower, so you can punch here. Then set up Stampede again. You'll have one more turn before you die. Use Rampage here. Your filler move will be triple snap until he burrows again. So use it now. And rampage. Let's hoof it. Arcanon Poros, Dionys Haka. There's an improvement. Warm wishes to you. Mm. Okay. Dionys Haka. Kidoki.
So the groups of acolytes generally come in threes and they are easy to kill, but you may only get one armament out of each trio, so I recommend focusing on the Black Empire mobs, which are slightly harder to kill, still not 100% drop chance, but you may get the job done quicker if you focus on those mobs. Excellent. Ooh, last day tomorrow. Warm wishes to you. Be well. Oh, he's dancing a little jig. Let's get him out, shall we? Shadow Bob. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, how cool. Okay, so the first place I thought of, I want to check out the mount special. And this was the closest place I could find, Silver Moon City. Okay, that's really cute. He does that on his own as well see when I came out of the portal room. So if you've been following along my other videos, thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and let me know if you're excited to do this whole quest line, whether you're more excited about the mount or the pet. Uh, personally, I like both because, well, for one thing, it has to do with Oldham and you know I love Oldham. If you Follow me for a while. But yeah, this might be my mount for a while. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.